Well, I'm joined now by Hans Neiman and by his lawyer, Terence Obey. So, first question, uh, Hans, for you. Why have you got your lawyer with you? Well, uh, considering the, the recent uh, case and settlement, uh, some legal questions I'm, you know, my, my lawyer might be able to better answer. And uh, to be honest, uh, a 50 game you know, streak. Uh, Terry and uh, his team has been, frankly, you know, great in, in, in helping me resolve this case. And uh, I'm very, very thankful to them for <laughs> believing in me. And, uh, you know, this is not just a, uh, he's not just my lawyer. He's, he's a friend. He's a confidant. And he's someone uh, who I trust uh, fully. And for someone, for you to get accused of cheating and turn up with your lawyer, that seems mighty suspicious. Mighty suspicious. And uh, uh, that's why he's here today. Okay, so look, you you are a chess prodigy, no question. You're a grandmaster, which you got that title into 17. You rank the fourth best junior chess player in the world. So you're a brilliant chess player. The question mark that got put over your head came after you beat Norway's world champion, Magnus Carlsen. This is back in... Uh, Missouri in September 2022, so a year ago. Uh, and you beat him, ending a 53-game unbeaten streak. And uh, as a result, you were accused of being a cheat. And you were accused of cheating in a particularly uh, fascinating manner, which is the allegation was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert yeah. anal beads inside yourself, which he would then... Do you mean where I was yesterday? I'm having domestics. I'm dad and dying. back in uh, Missouri in September 2022, so a year ago. Uh, and you beat him, ending a 53-game unbeaten streak. And uh, as a result, you were accused of being a cheat. And you were accused of cheating in a particularly uh, fascinating manner, which is the allegation was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself, which he would then send remote signals to. No, that's fucking ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. You're taking a piss. You're taking a fucking piss. There's no way you're gonna ask. There's no way you're gonna ask a man that on national TV. Oh, you could have kids. You could have kids watching this. Don't ask a big man that. Look, he's fucking furious. Look at his face. Look at his face. He's fucking furious. Sir, anal beads. Or coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads. <laughs> Only pairs. Only pairs could ask you something like this, you know. Only fucking Mr. Morgan. Coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside... Oh, if he did, though, that's fucking genius. I, I will say that. ...yourself, which he would then send remote signals to. Uh, first of all, when that story broke, those... <laughs> Oh, hold on, yeah. You know how disrespectful that is? He just called you homosexual and a cheater. <laughs> He's got most cold anal beads. It's crazy. 
It's crazy. That's gay. You don't let another man control your backside. That's that's gay. I am. I am. No, but hold on. Do you know? Do you know how disrespectful it is to accuse someone of that? Do you actually the deep, deep the level of disrespect? If you mean you tell me you've got me on big national TV with my lawyer here, and you're gonna ask me? If you're gonna ask me? You're gonna ask me? Oh. Oh. oh man! Allegations. What was your reaction? Well, obviously, it's very disheartening uh, to be accused of cheating after after that victory. Um, but you know, uh, uh, these things, you know, uh, it, it happened, uh, and I learned a lot from that time. And uh, it really has taught me a lot of very, very important lessons uh, about life and chess. And uh, I think it's only strengthened my resolve, uh, and it's only motivated me, you know, further. And uh, it's it's shown me that, um, you know, with with the help of people like Terry, you know, and. and uh, these things, you know, uh, after that victory, um, it's very difficult. The, uh, which is the allegation yeah. was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself, which he would then send remote signals to. Uh, first of all, when that story broke, those allegations, what was your reaction? Well, obviously, it's very disheartening uh, to be accused of cheating after, after that victory. Um, but you know, uh, uh, these things, you know, uh, it, it happened, uh, and I learned a lot from that time, and uh, it really has taught me a lot of very, very important lessons uh, about life and chess, and uh, I think it's only strengthened my resolve, uh, and it's only motivated me, you know, further, and uh, it's, it's shown me that, um, you know, with, with the help of people like Terry, you know, in, in life, you know, it's, it's really important to, to have people who help you, and that's why, because of this, I've started a, a scholarship where I'm giving away $10,000 to talented chess players throughout the world, so, you know, I think that, uh, you know, when, when difficult things happen to you in life, you have to learn from them and you have to, uh, you know, uh, move forward uh, and, uh, you know, you can't live in the past. OK, but just to be clear, you didn't cheat. Of course not. So what have you, what have you had to learn if you didn't cheat? <laughs> you can't ask me, do you think he did it? Sorry. I have to have Sorry, in September... 2022, so a year ago, uh, and you beat him, ending a 53 game. He looks stressed. Streak. He looks stressed, buddy, on the left. He looks stressed. And uh, as a result, you were accused of being a cheat, and you were accused of cheating in a particularly uh, fascinating manner, which is the allegation was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself which he would then send remote signals to. Uh, first of all, when that story broke, those allegations, what was your reaction? Well, obviously, it's very disheartening. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the choice of words is crazy, disheartening. Well, obviously, it's very disheartening. Uh, <laughs> disheartening, to say the least. I would have wowed out. I would have got angry. I would have looked guilty. I would have been so offended. Reaction? When that story broke, which he would then send remote, uh, instructed you to insert anal, anal beads. beads. Inside, coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself. <laughs> had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself. Inside yourself. In case you didn't know what anal beads were had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself, which he would then send remote signals to. Uh, first of all, when that story broke, those allegations, what was your reaction? Well, obviously, it's very disheartening uh, to be accused of cheating after, after that victory. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, these things, you know, uh, it, it happened, uh, and I learned a lot from that time, and... Uh, it really has taught me a lot of very, very important lessons uh, about life and chess, and uh, I think it's only strengthened my resolve, uh, and it's only motivated me, you know, further, and uh, it's it's shown me that, um, you know, with with the help of people like Terry, you know, 
in, in life, you know, it's, it's really important to, to have people who help you. And that's why, because of this, I've started a, a scholarship where I'm giving away $10,000 to talented chess players throughout the world. So, you know, I think that, uh, you know, when, when difficult things happen to you in life, you have to learn from them and you have to, uh, you know, uh, move forward uh, and, uh, you know, you can't live in the past. Okay, but just to be clear, you didn't cheat? Of course not. So what have you, what have you had to learn if you didn't cheat? Well, uh, I think uh, <laughs> the more, was more so the meat. So what have, you, what have you had to learn if you didn't cheat? Well, uh, I think uh, the learning experience was more so the media attacking me and uh, all the, you know, trust world, you know, crashing down on me. Uh, I think, uh, learn, you know, dealing with that, you know, <laughs> was a learning experience, you know, dealing with all that pressure and competing under all that pressure. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used anal beads while playing chess? Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest, but... Uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally <laughs> interested, but... Uh, <laughs> <I can. laughs> Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest. Anal but again, to be clear... It's a learning experience, you know, dealing with all that pressure and competing under all that pressure. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used anal beads while playing chess? Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest, but... Uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. <laughs> Maybe you're personally interested, but uh, I can tell you no. Okay, category... Your curiosity is quite concerning, but uh, <laughs> maybe you're. <laughs> he, 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 look, look, I ever thought I'd ask look, look. to be honest, but <laughs> he looks in like a young nigga. He's, he, he, he's serious. He's talking to beads while playing chess. Not a question I ever thought <laughs> I'd ask you. Like this, honest, but... Who the fuck you talking to? That's what that head move is there. Who the fuck you talking to? Playing chess. Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest, but. Uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested, but. Uh, yeah. You know, your curiosity Even is the a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're. Even the lawyer laughs. Well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested. <laughs> he laughs. Uh, he smiled. You know, your he smiled. curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally he interested. Smiled. But, uh, he smiled. He you know, smiled. You know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested. But, uh, Even he had to smile. You know, concerning. <laughs> <laughs> I ever thought I'd ask but, but again, to be clear, on the... He said, are you asking to ask me again, to be clear? No, you are curious. <laughs> you know, he's trying not to lie. Dealing with all that pressure and competing under all that pressure. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific <laughs> allegation, have you ever used anal beads while playing chess? Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, I he's, I'd ask. Oh, he's genuinely bedazzled, you know. It's <sighs> a good guess, to be honest, but... Uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested, but uh, <laughs> I can tell you no. Okay, categoric no. <laughs> of course, yes. Categorically no. no, no I obviously, I didn't, I didn't make the allegations. I'm just repeating what was... No, don't do that. Don't do that now. Don't do that. I, mean, I didn't make the allegations. Nigga, you asking me right here, bro. You, you, you're accusing me. Like, you asking me, you're accusing me. Stupid shit, t stupidness, stupidness on the internet type. It's just stupidness on the internet type. So you can't come and ask me and say, listen, I didn't accuse you. You are, bro. You are. How are you bringing that shit to my... The internet ain't real life. You know what I'm saying? You bringing that shit to my face is accusing me. But you know, I'm not asking. I'm not accusing you. Yes, you are. You, you accuse me three times. You ask me three times. You ask me three times. That's accusing me, bro. Not a question I ever thought I'd ask you, guess, <sighs> to be honest. But, but... Uh, you know, the learning <laughs> yeah. experience... When, when... Well, when that Look. story broke, those allegations, what was your reaction? Uh, and uh, as a result, you were accused of being a cheat. And you were accused of cheating in a particularly uh, fascinating manner which is the allegation was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside right, So that's that you've asked him in my gay once. Yourself, which he would then send remote signals. What was your... To be accused of...
these things, you know, a lot of, uh, and you know, with with the help of people, like, because of this, I, you know, I think that, uh, you know, uh, move. Uh, you know, you can't live in the past. Okay, but just to be clear, you didn't cheat. Move forward, uh, and to you in life, you have to learn from them. Okay, but just to be clear, you didn't cheat. Of course not. So what have you what have you had to learn if you didn't cheat? <laughs> well, uh, I think uh, the learning experience was more so the media attacking me and uh, all the you know trustful experience, you know, dealing with all that pressure. And have you ever used pressure? <laughs> but but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used? Anal beads. Well, twice. Chess. He asked to be gay twice. Question, I have that's two I'd times ask he's asked to be gay. gay. Maybe you're personally interested, but I can tell you now. Look at his face. Okay, categoric no. <laughs> that's, the free time. that's the first time you asked me about gay. That's, that's an accusation, bro. But, uh, uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested, but uh, yeah. I can tell you now. Yeah, yeah. He said the first one's free. I let you disrespect me once. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah. concerning, you know, maybe you're personally interested, but uh, I can tell you no. Okay, categoric no. Of course, yes, categorically no. no, no I obviously, I didn't, I didn't make the allegations. I'm just repeating what yeah, was you did. put to you at the time. Uh, as a result of the furore that developed, um, you were investigated by Chess.com. They banned you uh, while they did this, and they published a report. Uh, saying that you had likely cheated more than a hundred times in online games. You then admitted you had cheated, I think, twice, you said, uh, in online games on chess.com when you were 12 and 16, but denied ever doing so in an in-person game. Is that an accurate uh, assessment of what went down? That's correct. They're reaching, you know, 12 and 16. So I guess the obvious question from but that is... Given you've admitted to cheating, is it completely outrageous that people thought you may have continued cheating? Well, let me just clarify that the chess.com report where they, you know, accused me of cheating over 100 games is, is completely defamatory. And, you know, as outlined in my lawsuit, uh, you know, uh, the person who actually wrote that report, uh, Danny Wrench, told me himself uh, that they knew that I had never cheated while streaming. And uh, the most serious accusations in that report happened while I was streaming live on Twitch. And the only reason that they banned me, uh, you know, was... Let me see. 